You speak whatever nonsense you want to speak. Yeah. I have sins, I can assure you. You speak. No, I have sins. There's no doubt about that. Yes, today there was a war of words between Theodore Sechkubo and the Speaker of Parliament, Aneta Anita Mong. When Theodore Sechkubo came out and reminded the Speaker that she had promised that the issue of the parliamentary exhibition was going to put was going to be put on the, on the floor of Parliament so that members can discuss can discuss upon it. This comes at the backdrop where the parliamentary exhibition showed how the Speaker of Parliament got scriptures money from the consolidated fund. And when it was put before the Parliament by the list of opposition, the Speaker of Parliament came out to say that indeed they, are, they, they will find a day to talk about it. So today, the MP Theodore Sechkubo came out to remind the Speaker, and the Speaker shouted him down, telling him that he's speaking nonsense. So in this video, I've come to talk about the politics behind the parliament exhibition and if indeed it will be put on the floor of parliament for discussion what it, mean, it, it means for politics and most importantly the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation but before i do this i want to let you know that if you're new to this channel please subscribe and if you're watching this video from a different platform please add on to youtube type in sura mawagari there's a lot of content of this nature if geopolitics and economics is what you want this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to So today, Theodor Sechkubo, one of the MPs who, does, who doesn't fear anything, came out and called on to the speaker and reminded her about the parliamentary exhibition which she promised that the matter is going to be put on the floor of parliament so that it can be discussed by various members. This didn't go on well with the speaker of parliament to an extent that he called, or he called out Honorable Sechkubo that he is indeed speaking nonsense. I look at these things with two ideas. One, it's the speaker who's supposed to table this thing which entails how he got money. And it's not going to be an easy thing to bring this issue on the floor of parliament. Before I speak on this, let me first give you the tape when Theodore Sechko was asking the speaker. Here's the tape. For the opportunity, right over speaker, I raise to remind the chair about the undertaking you made to this house where we were to close off for Easter holiday you had undertook that we shall have opportunity to debate on the issue of the parliamentary exhibitions wherein members read about the profligacy of the commission of this house whereupon the allegations about the handshake to the commissioners was debated where about the backbench commissioners were given money ranging from 400 million to 500 and you undertook rhetorical speaker that an opportunity would be availed to us to have this matter thoroughly debated, concluded, and put to rest. That is Theodor Sechkubo. When Theodor Sechkubo was materializing his, his point, Anita Anita Among came out to say that Theodor Sechkubo is speaking nonsense. In fact, this language was unparliamentary because we all know that various members of parliament have always come out to use such a language. We, we all remember when the MP for National Municipality came out to say a bad word. The Speaker of Parliament to, told him to withdraw on the, on the floor of parliament, withdraw that word on the floor of parliament. And the Speaker of Parliament used the bad word on the floor of parliament known as nonsense. It is unparliamentary. In fact, I was surprised that no member of parliament stood up okay, to put this to the attention of the Speaker for using unparliamentary language on the floor. 
before I speak on this on its entirety, let me first give you a tape when the Speaker of Parliament was telling Honorable uh, Theodore Sechkubo this. Here is the tape. You speak whatever nonsense you want to speak. Yeah. I have sins, I can assure you. You speak. No, I have sins. There's no doubt about that. Chair, when uh, a and member... And where is the person you're speaking to? When a because... member rises to tarnish the only asset I have in life, my reputation on the floor of this house, and you are presiding over... So that is the Speaker of Parliament. You clearly see that this is not the first time the Speaker of Parliament is using bad language. You know, in Parliament, there are some languages which are not supposed to be used. The day before, Honorable Senyonyi was told to withdraw because he used a word non-vis. By the way, which is not a bad word. He used the word non-vis when he was addressing the new minister for gender, Baram Barugari. And Taiwa told him to withdraw the word non-vis against the member, despite the fact that non-vis is not a bad word. Uh, on, honorable Senyonyi, you know the language we use in Parliament. Okay? On, on I was saying, you know the language we use in this parliament. Even when you disagree with a person, language is like a novice. A member of a member of parliament is a member of parliament is a member of parliament. Okay? So on I was saying, you do the need for you, a gentleman. There is a language we don't use here. There is a language we don't use. Right honorable speaker, as a lawyer. And as somebody who knows English, the word novice means somebody who is new to a profession. No, no. The Honorable Balam Barugahare is a new minister. So the word novice is not derogatory in any way except for people who we need to teach some English. You, you see, Honorable colleagues, how we start with problems is how we behave. Okay? No. No, I know you'd be insulted if I called you novice. The Honorable Baram Bargara is a minister. And a free-fledged now ex-official of this house has been sworn in. Okay? So, Honorable, I'm a very patient man. And I know you're a gentleman. Okay? Please, let's use... Honorable Speaker, you asked me to speak. Please protect Please. me from these excited No, you're protected, Honorable... I hope I am. You see, in this parliament, we keep learning, and um, I am glad to even teach colleagues some English. When you Google the meaning of the word novice, for those that have smartphones and some data, definition number one, a person new in a job or situation. Balam Barugahari is new, the honorable... He's new as a minister. So there's nothing wrong with calling him a novice as a minister. I thank you. Procedure, thank you. procedure, procedure. Thank you, Honorable uh, Clark. I hereby direct you, sir, you expand the submission of the Honorable Senior. So in this speech, by Honorable Manita Moon coming out to say that uh, Sechiko was speaking nonsense, it was unparliamentary language, which was not called for. In fact, a president is going to be said. I don't think that the, uh, any day a member comes out to speak the same thing, he will be told to withdraw these statements because it has been said by the presiding officer. But I think he, she was so quick to attend to this position. I don't think he is supposed to be the Speaker of Parliament because he parachuted to that office in a short period of time. You remember he was a deputy speaker, the Speaker of Parliament. Jacob Olanya died in office, barely months in office. So he ascended to, she ascended to that position without being grounded in parliamentary work. And for me, I think it has a problem. He, she has a problem on the way. He heads this parliament. Secondly, I see a battle. I see a, a, a mountain for the issue of parliamentary exhibition to be brought on the floor of parliament. Because it is biting the same person who is presiding over this house. And I think it is going to take a lot for the members to fight for this. What makes my heart bleed is some NRM members think it is a joke. They came out in defense of the speaker. 
Do you know why? Because they expect travels, because they expect favors from the speaker, which is bad. Members of parliament must ask the speaker to account so that they can put the house to order. If they don't do this, the house is going to be captured more and more. Kadaga had his, her own issues. Okay, in fact, there are a lot, but he didn't generate the house as far as Anita Anita Mong is, do, is doing. So for me, I think members of the op opposition must fight hard, must dig in to, have, to, to block the speaker from capturing the house and to make the speaker account to the house. And I'm waiting for this. In fact, I tell George Sonyi but that he must find a way these issues must be heard on the floor of parliament. Of course, that's my opinion. Drop me your comments by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.